Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to another video, and welcome back to episode four of the PAX Legacy Challenge. Today is going to be a little bit different because we aren't going to do the usual fishing and stuff. Today, we are going to be focused on making money. We need to use money to go on vacation to Granite Falls. And right now, our main source of income is to write short stories and crafting sculptures. That's basically what we're going to do the entire episode. I think the four short stories we have already is around 30, maybe 35 simoleons. So we need to raise that number exponentially. This is book five. Everybody has different tastes. A dine out short story. Sure, you can hang out. Oh. I'm probably going to ignore you. Cool. It's another book. Job I'm going to publish tomorrow. Ooh, that's a nice little swan sculpture. How are your needs? Absolutely terrible. That's nice. Use the toilet, and then grab a serving of that. Hygiene's also a little bit low, so you're also going to shower, and then go sleep again. That should cover all of your needs that need work, because we kind of need money. Like, a lot of money. We have... A lot of sculptures. I'm going to sell duplicates of sculptures. And I know we're sitting on a small landmine of uh, plants and fish. But I'm going to sell most of the plants when we move to another house. And I'm going to use the money we get off of that to build the house. Thank you for leaving your plate, by the way. Alright, on to book number two of the day. Far above the city lights. A city living short story. Cue up some heinous interactions. Get that heinous skill up, because we're going to need it up. Something else I should mention is that I am going to be pre-recording a lot of videos to get ready for the holiday season. So my videos might be a little bit shorter in time and in content, or I might say do a Granite Falls trip over two episodes instead of one episode. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed still enjoy it. I am enjoying making it for you guys. There's Della again. Great. Far above the city lights. Publish. I need to use the toilet again. We can use the toilet. What other needs? Uh, sleep is the only one. We are going to start the day by writing the next short story. Like I said, we are grinding out these short stories and the handiness skill today. So this one is going to be called Good and Lost in Eve's Hollow, a vampire's short story. Eh. Are you eating... I don't know how, how did you eat that when it was on a different table? You know what? I'm not complaining. Saves me more work. <coughs> <coughs> what time do we get our royalties every day? Oh, uh, 10. That's good. We get our royalties at 10 a.m. every morning. 
Hello. I think Lila Meek is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? Ooh. Carson has a crush. Sure. Romance is in the air. Okay. House of Siblings Grimm. A parenthood short story. I'm going to keep it extra on parenthood. How many unfinished sculptures do you have? Is the question. Can we get to 10? Short stories today? That would only be two more. I think we can. Or not today, today, but like in this episode. Your social's low. I, yeah, I know. There's a world famous circus in the city tonight only. Let's go check it out. Okay. You can stop that and go to the circus if you want. You're kind of... I'll let that one slide since you make good money on your books right now. This is book four, and it's going to be called In Furs of a Feather. Weird name, I know. Just deal with it. A cats and dogs. Not doigs. Dogs. Short story. You are like really sad because your social solo becomes desolate in nine hours. Should I be worried about that? Okay. You won't die. You're just going to be sad until you talk to people, which is fair. Which you're going to have to do tomorrow because you're going to bed now. I'm pretty sure every single one of these people is sleeping. Yeah, who would have guessed they're all asleep at 6 a.m.? You know what? We'll call back later. You're going to finish writing that book and resume your knife block. Oh, I have three I can publish. Wow. I didn't. Re I thought I published the vampires one. Yeah, it just says six. All right. So we need to publish, Travis is here, which is nice. You're a bit late. Good and Lost and Eve's Hollow, House of Siblings Grimm, and Infers of a Feather. But we can talk to you. Sure. I think it's really nice that Travis and Della and Scott came, not Scott, Travis and Della and Gavin came over to check on us since we called them last night. I guess they did, they realized we weren't feeling great. You're going to pass out in like three hours, so why don't you take a nap? What other needs do you have? Um, oh, you're out of food. Cook. How are the rest of your needs going? Just hunger and energy right now. Bladder's a little low as well, so we'll do that. Gavin's leaving. Our social's much higher now. Hey, Carson. You won't believe it. Lila Meek is such a sweetheart. I'm in love. Congrats. I also want to write a short story for each generation of this challenge. So that's what we're going to do. Really quickly, check your inventory because we have a lot of time on our hands. And put the horse sculpture on this table here with the others. Sell this upgrade part here and sell this statue since we already have a copy. Um, one of them. Tomorrow we're going to harvest all the plants and then write 
two more short stories. So the last one was in Furs of the Feather. This one is Jump into a New Year. A season's short story. And you're going to get leftovers and then write another short story. <laughs> yes, you can come over and hang out. Oh my god. Look at those ro This is going to get so long. Um, is there a limit to how long this royalty is going to get? Because I'm really going to be testing this. Cracking the temples code spelled with K's a jungle adventure short story. You can take a quick break and then I want you to finish this book before the end of the episode. Join game. I think this also gets to social up. I did not know this, but we get along closer with Della than we do with Travis now. That's really interesting. Something I want to do on like a vacation to Granite Falls is bring the O'Neill siblings with me because he knows that Della is squeamish, but he doesn't know that Carson and Riley are squeamish. So technically we don't know that the other two O'Neill siblings are squeamish and we don't know why Della is squeamish. Is that a little bit torturous? Yes. Cheer to death from listening to a cheerful sim. Cheeriness can often be contagious, but sometimes it can also be painfully grating. Dang. Oh, this game has its moments. Or maybe, actually, maybe what we could do instead is since we know Della is squeamish, we go on a vacation with Carson and Riley, since we don't get that, since we aren't that close with them, and we learn that they're squeamish there. That is not going to end well at all. It was really annoying me that we didn't get that, that we weren't that close with them. And yes, I know I cheated that. Deal with it. Resume writing, cracking the temple's code. Did you just ignore me? That is incredibly rude. Oh. The computer broke. That's a way to end the episode. Whoa, the statue is huge. Okay. Um, I don't really know where to put that. We're just gonna put that statue there for now. I guess the computer breaking is a good sign to end the episode. I know this episode was a little bit different to what I've been doing so far, but like I said, I got to do a lot of episodes in a very short amount of time. I think I should have all of my pre-recordings done before winter break, but until then, I will see you all next week. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I'm probably going to say that a couple of times. Probably going to sound like a broken record. And with that out of the way, I will see you all in another video. Bye, everybody.